In the 1996 film Twister, storm chasers raced to deploy their groundbreaking technology in the face of nature's fury. While that was Hollywood fiction, the threat of devastating tornadoes is all too real. Recent statements from leading meteorologists and climatologists have raised alarms about an impending surge in severe tornado activity. This video will examine the latest evidence and expert opinions suggesting that a major tornado outbreak may be on the horizon. Join us as we explore why scientists believe we may soon face nature's wrath in a dramatic escalation of twister activity. The 1974 Super Outbreak Fifty years ago, on April 3, 1974, the United States experienced a weather event of unprecedented scale and intensity. Known as the 1974 Super Outbreak, this catastrophic series of tornadoes reshaped our understanding of severe weather and left an indelible mark on meteorological history. For almost four decades, it was simply referred to as the super outbreak, a testament to its singular nature in the annals of weather records. The Staggering Numbers In less than 24 hours, an astonishing 148 tornadoes touched down across 13 U.S. states and Ontario, Canada. This outbreak shattered previous records, marking the first time in recorded history that over 100 tornadoes occurred within such a short time span. The sheer number of twisters was staggering, but even more alarming was their strength and destructive power. Of the 148 confirmed tornadoes, seven were rated F5 on the Fujita scale, with winds estimated to exceed 200 miles per hour. An additional 23 tornadoes were rated F4, and 35 were classified as F3. These high-end violent tornadoes accounted for a significant portion of the outbreak's devastation. At one point during the outbreak, there were 15 tornadoes confirmed on the ground simultaneously, a sight that seems almost unimaginable. The Perfect Storm The 1974 super outbreak was the result of a perfect storm of meteorological conditions. A powerful low-pressure system moved through the Midwest, colliding with warm, humid air from the deep south. At higher altitudes, a strong jet streak approached from the west, while a potent low-level jet developed in the evening hours. This combination of factors created an environment ripe for severe thunderstorm development. The clash of air masses, coupled with intense atmospheric instability and wind shear, fueled the formation of supercell thunderstorms, the most dangerous type of storms known for producing violent, long-track tornadoes. The system made its way across the United States and into the Ohio and Tennessee valleys, producing widespread severe thunderstorms. The first tornado occurred in northern Illinois and was short-lived, but it was only the beginning of what would become a day of unprecedented severe weather. A Trail of Destruction The tornadoes that formed during the super outbreak left a trail of destruction across multiple states. One of the hardest-hit areas was Zinnia, Ohio, where an F5 tornado obliterated large sections of the town, claiming 32 lives. The tornado caused millions of dollars in damage, destroying homes, businesses, and infrastructure. Survivors described the surreal sight of cars and entire houses being lifted into the air. In Brandenburg, Kentucky, another F5 twister resulted in 31 fatalities. The town was virtually wiped off the map, with entire neighborhoods reduced to splinters and concrete foundations. Other significant tornadoes struck various communities across the affected states, each leaving its own path of devastation. The Human Toll the outbreak's total death toll reached 315, with an additional 5,484 people injured. These numbers represent not just statistics, but individual stories of loss, survival, and resilience. Families were torn apart, communities were left reeling, and the process of rebuilding would take years. The economic impact was equally staggering, with damage estimates exceeding $600 million, equivalent to approximately $3.7 billion in today's currency. Entire towns needed to be rebuilt, and the landscape of affected areas was forever changed. A Day of Terror Survivors of the 1974 super outbreak often described the day as apocalyptic. The roar of the winds, often compared to the sound of multiple freight trains, haunted survivors for years to come. In some areas, multiple tornadoes were visible on the horizon simultaneously, creating a scene that seemed more like science fiction than reality. One particularly striking image that emerged from the aftermath was that of a bathtub lodged into the ground, a testament to the tornado's incredible power. In many areas, entire neighborhoods were reduced to concrete slabs, leaving survivors struggling to recognize once-familiar landscapes. 
the stories of survival and narrow escapes are numerous. Many residents found safety in basements or storm cellars, emerging to find their homes and possessions scattered across miles. The psychological impact of the outbreak was profound, leaving many with a lifelong fear of severe weather. Advancements in Meteorology and Warning Systems the 1974 super outbreak served as a wake-up call for meteorologists and emergency management officials. It highlighted critical gaps in severe weather prediction and warning systems, spurring significant advancements in the field of meteorology. In the aftermath of the outbreak, researchers like Dr. Ted Fujita conducted extensive damage surveys, leading to groundbreaking discoveries such as the identification of microbursts. These findings resulted in the development of improved airport warning systems and pilot training protocols, potentially saving countless lives in the aviation industry. The event also accelerated the development and implementation of Doppler radar technology, which has since become an indispensable tool in severe weather detection and prediction. Today's advanced warning systems, capable of providing crucial minutes of lead time before a tornado strikes, owe much to the lessons learned from the 1974 super outbreak. Furthermore, the outbreak led to improvements in emergency response protocols and public education about severe weather safety. The importance of having a designated safe space and an emergency plan became more widely recognized and emphasized in tornado-prone areas. Tornado Alley in Flux while the 1974 super outbreak primarily affected the Ohio and Tennessee valleys, recent years have seen a shift in tornado activity. The traditional Tornado Alley, historically centered on Texas, Oklahoma, and Kansas, appears to be expanding eastward. Today, tornado risk has increased in parts of Mississippi, Alabama, Arkansas, Missouri, and even states as far east as Tennessee and Kentucky. This eastward shift brings new challenges as these regions often have higher population densities and may be less prepared for frequent tornado activity. Climate scientists are still working to understand the reasons behind this geographical shift. Some theories suggest that changes in global air circulation patterns due to climate change may be influencing the location and frequency of tornado formation. Others point to natural climate variability as a potential factor. Regardless of the cause, this shift underscores the importance of continued research and improved preparedness measures across a wider swath of the country. Communities that have historically seen few tornadoes may need to reassess their risk and update their emergency plans accordingly. Are tornadoes getting worse? As we reflect on the 1974 super outbreak, it's natural to question whether tornado activity is intensifying due to climate change. While the data shows some concerning trends, the picture is complex and requires careful interpretation. Recent years have seen an increase in the number of reported tornadoes. For example, 2023 experienced 1,423 twisters, about 18% above average. The spring of 2024 has also been particularly active, with April 2024 recording 300 tornadoes, making it the second most active April on record. However, it's important to note that improved detection methods, including the widespread use of smartphones and social media, may account for some of this increase, particularly for weaker tornadoes that might have gone unnoticed in the past. The advent of storm chasing as both a scientific pursuit and a recreational activity has also led to more tornadoes being witnessed and reported. Climate models suggest that as global temperatures rise, the number of days with conditions favorable for tornado formation may increase. This could lead to more frequent outbreaks, though not necessarily more intense individual tornadoes. The relationship between climate change and tornado intensity remains an area of active research. It's worth noting that while the 1974 super outbreak held the record for the most tornadoes in a 24-hour period for many years, it was surpassed by the 2011 super outbreak. This more recent event produced 360 tornadoes over a three-day period from April 25, 28, 2011, primarily across the Deep South. While this demonstrates the potential for even larger outbreaks, it's crucial to remember that such extreme events remain rare. Preparing for the Future As we mark the 50th anniversary of the 1974 super outbreak, it's crucial to recognize that while our understanding and prediction of tornadoes have improved dramatically, these powerful storms remain a significant threat. The lessons learned from this historic event continue to inform our approach to severe weather preparedness and response. 
Communities in tornado-prone areas must remain vigilant, ensuring robust emergency plans are in place and regularly updated. This includes having designated storm shelters, implementing effective warning systems, and conducting regular drills to ensure residents know how to respond in an emergency. Public education about tornado safety is vital, especially in regions experiencing an increase in tornado activity. This includes understanding the difference between a tornado watch and a warning, knowing how to identify safe spaces within buildings, and having emergency kits prepared. Continued investment in meteorological research and technology is essential. From improving long-range forecasting to developing more accurate tornado detection methods, ongoing scientific advancements will be key to saving lives and protecting property in future outbreaks. This includes further refinement of Doppler radar technology, exploration of new tools like phased array radar, and development of more sophisticated computer models for predicting severe weather. The role of climate change in severe weather patterns also requires ongoing study. As our climate continues to evolve, it's crucial that we understand how these changes may impact the frequency, intensity, and geographic distribution of tornadoes. This knowledge will be essential for long-term planning and adaptation strategies. Lessons from the Past – Eyes on the Future the 1974 super outbreak stands as a sobering reminder of nature's awesome power and the importance of preparedness. It marked a turning point in our understanding of severe weather and our approach to forecasting and public safety. The advances made in the wake of this historic event have undoubtedly saved countless lives in the decades since. As we face the challenges of a changing climate and shifting weather patterns, the lessons learned from the 1974 super outbreak continue to inform our approach to severe weather prediction and response. The event serves as a benchmark against which we measure our progress and a reminder of the work that still needs to be done. While we cannot prevent tornadoes, we can work to minimize their impact through improved forecasting, robust warning systems, and community preparedness. By combining the wisdom gained from past events with cutting-edge science and technology, we can build a safer, more resilient future in the face of nature's most violent storms. The legacy of the 1974 super outbreak lives on not just in the memories of those who experienced it, but in every advance we make in severe weather forecasting and every life saved by improved warning systems. As we look to the future, we carry with us the lessons of the past ever vigilant and ever improving in our quest to protect lives and property from the fury of tornadoes. Now it's time to hear from you. Have you ever experienced a tornado firsthand? If so, how did it change your perspective on severe weather? And for those living in tornado-prone areas, what preparedness measures do you think are most crucial for your community? Share your thoughts in the comments section below.